hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss regarding the external api or web service api in oru see already we have released a video on the same and we have discussed different topics like how to do authentication how to fetch values from oru database and how to create a record into oru database using xml rpc or external api that is web service so we have already told in the different languages it is available you can see it's available in python ruby php and java in that video we have already created a file so if i go to my folders and here inside documents you can see this is the odoo web service.py so if i open this file you can see this is the code that we have written that day and i have given all the server details like my url database name username password here that's i have set my all the database credentials here and imported the xml rpc client and i have done the authentication and if you haven't watched that video yet you can just go to the first video and see how to do authentication how to fetch or how to read the data from the Odoo database like here you can see i have read the data from the database table that is rust.partner i have searched it and i have read from the database and also i have shown you how to create record in the Odoo database using the xml rpc package so in this video we will discuss how to delete a record inside the Odoo database or how to update an existing record inside the Odoo database so we will discuss these two points in this video that is how to do deletion and how to do updation of a record using the xml rpc so we have already discussed the these points that is how to do authentication how to read the data from Odoo database and how to create a record inside the Odoo database using xml rpc so i'll keep the code here and i'll continue the rest of the part here so i'll just add a new print here like i'll just add a new print statement here let me type xml rpc update and delete so we are, this is the points that we are going to discuss in this video so we are going to discuss regarding how to delete and update an existing record so let me go to the terminal and if i run this script so i'll go to the corresponding folder and from here i'll just open my terminal and if i run the script if i click on enter button you can see there is an invalid syntax in the things that i have added so i'll just remove this thing Control z and i have to remove this comma from here Control s there was an error so i'll just go to the terminal again and i'll just clear it and if i run the script once again that is python 3.5 minus m or web service you can see i am able to read the data from so these all the records are coming from the Odoo database these are the partners and i have created a record and here you can see this is the print that we have added so let's see how we can update and delete an existing record inside the Odoo database so first of all i will go to the documentation and here it's detailedly explain how to do authentication how to call different methods how to read how to count records etc and if i scroll down and where we have stopped that day so here is the word we have stopped that day so these are the two points that we have to discuss in this method that is how to update records and how to delete the records so let's start with updating an existing record inside the database records can be updated using the right method it takes a list of records to update and mapping of updated fields to create method so let's see how we can do that so i'll just copy the first line which we have entered here so we are continuing with the python language itself so if you are need to do in some other language like ruby or php or java you can switch this tab and take the corresponding codes so i'll continue with the python itself and i'll just copy this code Control c and i will paste it inside our file that is here so after this print statement i will copy the code so what we have we are going to do is that using models.execute kw and db uid password so db we have already set at the top here you can see the db is vv and uid so once the authentication is done i will get the user id and password so password also I have already set here password is there and i'm going to execute the model this restaurant partner and the operation is write operation so we all know to perform update we have to call the write operation and inside this you have to specify to which id you are going to update the record of the id where you need to update you have to specify so let me go to the ui and let me take an existing record so we are dealing with the rest of part of model so i'll go to the contacts menu sorry i have clicked the crm so i'll go to contacts and i'll choose one of the existing contacts from there so here we have got different customers so let's continue with Gemini furniture so if i open this you can see the id of the record is 23 so id of this user is 23 and you can get it from if you don't know to how to get take from url you can just click on this debugger so you have to activate the debug mode so once you activate the debug mode and if you go to the view metadata you will get the id of the contact so the id is 23 so let's change his name so right now the name is soham 
Parmara. So let's change the name to some other thing. So we have to got the ID as 23. So I have to specify the ID is 23. So we are going to update the ID of the partner is 23. And we have to specify which all fields we need to switch from opening. I have paused. So we are going to update the ID of 23. And inside the this dictionary, we have to specify which all fields value we have to update. So if I go here, you can see, let's see if we have to update the name. So this field name is, if I place the mouse over here, you can see the field name of the name is name itself. So I need to update the name of the partner. So I'll give the name as uh, Soham updated name. I'll just Soham name update. I'll give the name like this, Soham name updated. And if I need to update any other field value, so uh, let's continue with one name. So I'll click on control S. So I'll just save this file. So I have given, I'm going to update the restaurant partner with ID 23. And I'm going to update the name as Soham name updated. I'll just add a D here, control S. So we have updated the script. Now I'll go to the terminal and I'll click on clear. Clear, I'll just clear it. And I'll run the script once more. And if I click on enter, that is Python 3.5 minus M Odoo web service. And if I click on enter, you can see we haven't specified any written message. So this code has been executed. Now we will go to the UI and let's see what happens. So I'll go back to the contacts menu and I'll come to the ID 23. So here if I open this report, you can see his name has been updated. That is Soham is the name has been changed to Soham name updated, which we have given inside the code. So this is how you can perform the update operation. So let's take a case where you need to update multiple field values. Suppose if you need to specify or if you need to change the mobile. So right now the mobile is empty and you can see the technical name of the field is mobile itself. So let's take a case where we need to change multiple field values, like name and mobile. So we will go to the code and I'll change the name as Odoomates, Odoomates Dev, that is Odoomates Developer and I need to change the value of mobile also, that is we have to specify the mobile number of the partner. So I'll give the mobile number as 1234567789. So I have done and I'll click on Control S and I will save the file. Now I will go to the terminal and from the terminal I first of all I will clear those values. And I'll just execute the script using Python 3.5 minus M Odoo web service. And if I click on enter button, you can see there is no error. Now I'll go to the browser and if I go back to the contacts, and where is we have to open the ID with 23. So from the URL, I've changed the ID to 23 and click on enter. You can see the name has been updated to Odoo Mates Dev and the mobile number is one as 1234567789, which we have given inside the code. So this is how you can perform the update operation that is write operation from XML RPC. So that's done. Now we have to move to delete operation. So let's see how we can delete an existing record from XML RPC. So I'll just add a print statement here that is deleting a record. So I'll give the statement as deleting a record. Deleting a record. So that's done. So we'll go to the audio documentation again and see how we can perform that delete operation. So we have successfully done the update operation. Now next one is delete operation. Delete records records can be deleted by providing their IDs. You can see records can be deleted in bulk pro by providing their IDs. So to execute that, I'll copy this line. Control C. One minute. So here you can see this is the code to perform the delete operation. So I'll control copy this, control C and I'll paste it inside the file that we are doing. So I'll paste it here. So the file is models.execute kw, kw db uid password. And the model that we are going to perform the operation is res.partner. And the function that we have to call is unlink. And we have to specify the IDs of the records which we have to delete. So let's go to the UI and let's take a case where we need to delete a contact. So let's choose one of the records. So these are the contacts that we have created from the code. So I'll just open this record. So here you can see the ID of the record is 45. So let's take a case where we need to delete this record <coughs> is 45. So I have to specify this ID here 45 control is. So I have added the code for deleting the record that is DB UID password model is specified. The method to call is unlink and ID is specified. Now let's go to the terminal and I'll click on clear and I will execute the script once again. So here you can see deleting a record is done. Now we will go to the UI and let's see whether there is a record with ID 45. So I'll go to the filters and in the custom filter, I'll just search for ID equal to 45. So let's see whether it is coming or not. So ID is equal to 45. And if I click on apply, 
there is no record that it has been deleted now let's take a case where you need to delete all the records with the name odomates and odomates test so let's see how we can perform that so what we are going to do is that we have to search all the records which have the name odomates test and we have to delete it from the database so first of all we have to perform the search operation so if i go to the code and here we have already search yeah this is a search operation so i'll copy this statement and i will put it here so we have to search all the partners with the name name as odomates test so here you can see model.execute kw db uid password rest.partner search so search and name so in the name we have to specify we have to get all the partners with the name as odomates test so here i will copy this name odomates test and i will specify it inside the file so i need to delete all the partners with the name odomates test and i'll just remove the offset because i need to get all the partners so i don't need any offset so let's print the partner ids OM partner IDs, Odoo partner IDs. I'll give the name as such, and let's see what I'm getting inside this variable, whether it is a list or not. So I'll just print, print it here, and see what I'm getting inside this variable. Control S, and I'll go to the terminal and clear it, and I'll just execute the script once more. And here you can see you are getting all the IDs with the name Odoo mates test. Now we have to pass this inside the delete method. So this is the delete method. I'll copy this one or cut from here control x and i will paste it here so inside this instead of this list what i will do i will copy this list and i will paste it here so i have to delete all the records all the ids inside this dictionary so let's see what happens i'll click on control s and i'll go to the terminal and i'll just clear it first of all and i'll execute the script might be there <coughs> might be some errors i'm not sure just click on enter and see what happens so here you can see it has been executed without no issues now let's go to the ui and see whether we have got any customers or contacts with the name automates test so if you check the database and if i search for automates test there is no partners with the name automates test so that all the records has been deleted from the script so this is how you can perform the delete operation and update operation from the XML RPC that is in web service in Odoo. So if you have any queries or suggestions regarding this video, you can just contact us over the email that is odomates.gmail.com or you can connect us over the social medias like LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, etc. So that's all about this video. If you like the video, please do click the like button and subscribe to the channel to get notified regarding all the updates. So that's it. Thank you.